I'm Mark Suodonik, Textile Application Specialist with Graphic Solutions Group, and welcome to Tip Tuesday. In a previous episode, we talked about the supply shortage and the inability to actually get spray adhesive. So we gave you an alternative of using a water-based liquid adhesive. Well, today we're giving you another alternative, which is the PMI Dual Tack Palette Tape. And what this is, it's a palette tape that has adhesive on each side. I'm going to show you how do you apply this. What we do here is we put down our normal palette tape to protect the palette itself. And then we're just going to take the dual tack, lay it across the palette, and just kind of smooth out the bottom. To get all the bubbles out of it. And then we're just going to go and cut it off. And then actually use the roll itself and get all the air or any bubbles out. Once we have the dual tack palette tape on, we're going to go ahead and trim it off. When I go ahead and trim the sides, I'm going to trim it in on the pallet about a half inch and then go ahead and travel down the side and do the same in the front. And the reason I'm trimming it off like this is because if the tape was hanging over the side, it had, might have a tendency to peel up and get snagged on the shirt and make it a little more difficult to load. You're going to want to start find yourself an edge and just peel off the backing paper. And now you have a completely tacked surface over your whole palette. And what you want to do as you're running this and it starts to build up on lint, you can take a damp sponge, wipe off the whole palette itself to get rid of any excess lint, go ahead and reflash it, and it'll be tacky again. With the shirt loaded on the palette, you can see how much the adhesive actually grabs the garment. Once you've printed a couple of thousand shirts with this and it's started to lose its adhesive, you know, tackiness to it, all you got to do is go ahead, grab your edge, peel it right back off, and your palette is nice and clean and you're ready to go ahead and apply it again. For more tips and information on screen printing, visit GoGSG.com, follow us on social media, and we'll see you next time.